Welcome, welcome everyone. Today I want to go over something that I think is pretty cool. Um, connecting to a web TV server in 2019. So as you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of web TV viewers open. And um, one of them's already connected to an account on a server. So it's pretty amazing. So we got a few guys who've been working pretty hard and um, they've put together basically a recreation of web TV so you can actually connect to it and go to mail you can go to favorites you can go to uh, ALT discuss um, all sorts of things it's pretty neat so what I want to do is just basically give you a quick demonstration because right now this isn't available available publicly and um, I'm not sure if it ever will be so there's that um, uh, personally if I was running the server myself I I don't think I would want to make it public either you know where just anybody could connect at any time but um, if you're really really interested uh, you can get a hold of me and um, I can get a hold of the fellas and uh, they'll probably let you let you connect and we can take it from there so anyways let's go over what we can use to connect to the server and we've got a few options here we have down here I have the original viewer 1.0 we can use that to connect and it doesn't have to be edited or modified same with version 1.1 that can be used as well unedited the only problem with using either one of those is they do not have sound now if you know how to modify the viewer you can enable uh, the sound but I don't know if there's many people that know how to do that anymore um, you can also connect with the web to be viewer 2.5 but it has to be modified unmodified one will not connect and I do have a uh, version of 2.5 available for download that is modified so you could use that if you want and another way we could connect is with the Microsoft TV simulator and this one doesn't have to be modified it just connects this it's between uh, the Microsoft TV simulator and the web TV viewer 2.5 uh, those are probably the two best I'm starting to lean towards the Microsoft TV simulator as being my favorite but um, I don't know I'm still uh, still hold a soft spot for uh, version 2.5 of the viewer and even the uh, 1.0 and 1.1 I actually ah, man it's a tough choice I actually really like those as long as they're modified and I can enable the sound which I do have uh, modified versions of those because um, these are early versions and you know what to be wrote some code in there and whatever that they, you know that probably shouldn't have you know probably shouldn't have left in there they ended up taking you know some of the some cooler stuff out as versions went on so that's how you can connect with a viewer you can also connect with an actual uh, web TV unit but it's a pain in the ass and we're not gonna go over that right now so I'll just gonna give you a quick demonstration of connecting to the server so um, right here you know it's we're not really dialing because we're already connected to the internet through my computer so you're not going to get that, but let's uh, get this thing going here. All right. Should connect. There we go. So, boom, I'm in. And just like a real web TV account, you can have users, you can switch users, and you can go into any account you want. Um, so, let's go into here.
all right and here we are at the home page so just like um, just like a normal web TV you're in a normal regular account now here's another 2.5 viewer that I have and let's connect with this one okay now this one is hooked up to a dev account so right now anyways I mean things are constantly changing because uh, these guys are uh, constantly working on the server and updating it and changing things getting things to work and so on and so forth so right now a regular user would get this home page and a user with dev status is getting this home page um, but things work so we can go into discuss and right now there's four uh, group set up so we have web to be revival web to be sites archive uh, still works site that still work on web TV and we also have the old web TV dot hacking group and if you remember uh, Ultrax who created this group way back in the day so we, we, we uh, the guys brought that back which is kind of cool so you can go in there you can you can read posts you can make posts. Um, let's see, what you revival? Same thing. You can read posts. Yo yo yo. <laughs> no no no. Batman conspiracies going on in here. All sorts of stuff. Pretty cool. Um, you go back home. You can go into your favorites. So you got favorite folders. It's just like a just like a real web TV, man. You got mail here. You go into mail. You can uh, do some mail. So everything's uh, looking pretty pretty good. Looking on the up and up. I did notice like on um, the regular accounts, the non-dev accounts, uh, favorites wasn't working a little while ago. Yeah, it's still not working. So I don't know what's up with that. But mail seems to be working. Home page is obviously working. I wonder why uh, favorites isn't going here. Let's, let's check this out. Let's see if I just go directly here. Oh, there we go. I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess the link on the home page is bad. Yeah, that's got to be it. So a little work needs to be done on this home page. No big deal. And uh, let's uh, go over here to the simulator. Microsoft TV simulator. Same thing. Everything works. Uh, you get your settings. You know. Your account. You can do things. Do stuff. And let's go here. Let's go to WTV. CKS. So, if you guys remember uh, the Web TV tricks, we have that up and going. And I th you can pretty much type anything in here, but I think right now it, that might change at some point. Who knows? But um, yeah, just like the original tricks page from way back when. I think it was back in 98 when uh, a bunch of us got into uh, the secret tricks page and we were able to download games, download special builds, then that allowed us to connect a test drive and you know secret web TV servers. It was cool as shit man. We got in all sorts of trouble. Um, it was great. So nice recreation of that you know you got all your information here pretty neat pretty neat stuff um, so that's about it that's about it guys uh, it's 2019 and you can connect to a web TV server pretty neat so if you feel the need 
to get your nostalgia feels going and you really want to connect like I said let me know and maybe I can uh, talk one of these guys into, into letting you on the server so that's it thanks for watching see you in the next video